In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a perfect donut chart. This is a technique I've never shared before, and I don't think you'll ever build a donut chart a different way again. If you're new here, my name's Andy Kriebel. I'm the creator of Next Level Tableau, the premier Tableau training platform for ambitious Tableau analysts. If that's you, check out the description for all the ways that I can help you. Let's get started. Our goal is to create a donut chart that allows our users to pick a category and show the contribution of that category to the total sales. First, let's create a calculated field. Let's call this our percent of total sales. Our calculation is the sum of sales, and we want to divide that by the total. Well, to get the grand total, we need to use a level of detail expression. It's going to be the sum, and I'll move that down to give myself a bit of room, and then a left mustachio, which indicates the start of an LED, the sum of sales, and then a right mustachio to close that off. And that's it. We have the sales for the category we pick divided by the total sales. Click on OK. Right click on that field. Go to Default Properties, Number Format, and change percentage to zero decimals. Click on OK. And now that gives us the portion of the pie for that particular category. But we need to get the remainder as well to fill up the rest of the pie. To do that, we're going to create another calculated field. I'll call this one my remainder. And it's simply going to be one minus my percent of total sales. Click on OK. Don't worry about formatting that measure. We're not going to use it in the tooltip anyway. Now let's get started building the donut chart. Let's create a new calculated field, and I'll call it zero. We're going to use the make point function of zero, zero. So this is going to allow us to use a map to build our donut chart. Click on OK. Double click on that field, and you'll get a mark off the coast of Africa. This is at zero latitude and zero longitude. Change the mark type to a pie, right click on category and choose show filter, and we only want our users to be able to pick one item. Click on the drop down next to category and choose single value list, and then click on it again, go down to customize, and uncheck the show all value. Now we drag measure names to the filters, and we only want to keep the percent of total sales and the remainder. Click on OK, and drag measure names to color and drag measure values onto the angle. And you can see we have a faint pie down here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and edit our colors. I'm gonna make the remainder a gray and the percent of total sales a blue. And if I increase the size of the pie, even if I make it as big as possible, you see it doesn't fill up the screen. That's what we're going to fix. Let's go ahead and reduce that size again. Click on the size shelf and let's drag that down to maybe the second tick. Now we wanna drag the zero on again as a marks layer this time. So be sure that you see this marks layer option and drop it there. We're gonna make this mark a circle. Click on the color shelf and make it white. And you can already see we have the start of a donut down there. And drag percent of total sales to the label shelf. Now here comes the magic. Drag longitude off the columns and latitude off the rows. And change the fit to entire view. Now on the circle shelf, click on label, Click on alignment and set it to center horizontal and center vertical. And I'll make it a nice big font, maybe something like 48. But I don't want my users to be able to click on these marks and cover up the donut. Well, to fix that, on my marks card that has the pie, I'm gonna click the little drop down triangle and choose disable selection. Now, when I click on the pie, it doesn't do anything because I've disabled it. Do the same thing for the circle. So now when I click on the circle, it doesn't do anything either. And this is the beauty of map layers. We can turn off that functionality that allows our users to click on the marks. Now, as I adjust my categories, I see my percentage change and that's it. That is how you build a perfect donut chart. I don't think I'll ever build one a different way again. And I'd love to know in the comments, what do you think of this technique? Is this something you'll use going forward? And remember, if you wanna join Next Level Tableau, in the description are all the different ways that I can help. See you soon.